everyone, I wanted to come on here and share a word that was given to Jeff Byerly of HolySpiritWedding.net. This word was posted on December 21st, 2020 at 5.02 a.m. And it's titled, Soon the dark winter shall pass, and the radiance and warmth of spring shall be upon my people. I hear my people ask, when, when, when? I say to them, now, now, now. I hear my people say, we cannot bear to wait any longer. We are losing strength. I say to them, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. I hear my people ask, why must we go through these tests and trials? I say to them, Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice to the extent that you partake in my sufferings, that when the shining radiance of my glory is revealed, you may also be glad with joy unspeakable, and you shall be filled with my glory and shine with my radiance. My people ask, Why can we not see your deliverance? Why can we not hear the joyous songs of the wedding celebration? I say to them, This is not yet time for these things. Have you not eyes to see and ears to hear? The Babylonian world has made you blind and deaf. I say, Come out of her, my people, lest you partake in her plagues and judgments. Repent of your sins and purify your hearts before me or you shall go through the fires of great tribulation, unlike anything the world has ever seen or will see. In that day it shall come to pass that all who call upon the Lord, even in their dying breath, shall be saved. Seek me now like never before, and I will give you discernment, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Stop running to and fro, to this one and to that. I long to speak to you myself, not through the lips of another. Will you not draw nigh unto me, so that I can whisper with my still small voice the things that you have been longing to hear from me? I long for you all to come closer to me in our secret place. Lay down all of, your, all of the burdens of this world. Leave them outside the door and enter in with me. There you will find what you long for. I will satisfy your spirit and soul and very soon I will strengthen and heal even your physical bodies, and you shall go forth and proclaim the gospel by the power of my Spirit with signs and wonders and miracles like never before seen on the earth. Most of you have heard that the evil men of your world have predicted a dark winter. In the physical realm, you are entering it even now. I say to you, Fear not, neither be dismayed, for my spirit is within you wherever you go. I will never leave you unless you want me to. Many of you will experience a restriction of your travel in the time ahead, and it will be difficult for you to move from place to place. So I say get your physical house in order and stock up on supplies that you may need if you can, if you can because it is wise. I will provide for those that cannot store ahead and they will have to live every day by faith in my provision. Do not take the test or inoculation for the man-made pestilence. It is poison, and the promises of the wicked men, demons, and fallen angels who promote it will never come to pass. Have faith in me that I will do what I say if you believe my words with all of your heart. I shall deliver you from the noisome pestilence, the pestilence that walks in darkness. Neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. If you allow them to inject their poison into you, I will remove my protective hand from you. If they forcibly inject you, pray to me, and I shall take the evil effects away from you. I say to, to you all, though, spend the extra time that you have, that you will have hidden away with me in the secret place. There you will be strengthened by my spirit, and be ready for this season that is coming. The winds of winter shall drive the rain and snow, and many shall give up hope. But my people shall find their hope in me. I will not take these 
times of darkness away, but I will be with you through them all. There will be pain in the night, but joy comes in the morning. I am the sun of the morning, the bright and morning star, and I come with healing in my wings to all who fear my name. But to the wicked, I shall come as a consuming fire. I shall tear down, destroy and burn them, and they shall be ashes under my feet under the feet of the righteous who love me and keep my commandments. Soon the dark winter shall pass and the radiance and warmth of spring shall be upon my people. Then you will say, the season has changed. The bondage of your barren winter has ended and the season of hiding is over and gone. I now say, arise, my love, my beautiful companion, and run with me to the higher place. For now is the time to arise and come away with me. The people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Take this time to get to know me better. The time is now, now, now. Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. The scripture references given Isaiah chapter 40, 1 Peter 4, 1 Peter 1, Isaiah chapter 42 and 43, Revelation 18, Matthew 24, Revelation 2 and 7, Joel 2, Proverbs 1, 2, 8, 9, 14, 24, 30, Malachi chapter 3 and 4, Matthew 16, 1 Corinthians 12, Hebrews chapter 4 and 5, Daniel chapter 12, James chapter 4, 1 Kings 19, Acts 2, Luke 10, Psalm 91, Joshua 1, Hebrews 13, Matthew 10, Song of Solomon 2, and Daniel 10. And that is the end of the message. I love you all, and I pray that you all have a blessed day.